Hi there everyone, this is Vipin back again with another video and in this video I'll be talking about how you can become a software engineer in this Nepali market. I'll be talking about the market and what can you expect from the market in terms of salary and in terms of growth. This video is specifically for those uh, who are just starting out and for all the students uh, who are pursuing computer science degree and have a dream of becoming a software engineer in the future. If you guys don't know me, then I'm also a software engineer working currently in one of the reputed company of Nepal, which handles uh, US healthcare data. I have previously worked on multiple companies and uh, have worked on multiple projects and different domains. And at the beginning of my career, I have started uh, doing freelancing work also and have experience on that field also. Now our group of friends has co-founded a company called Quantum Seal where we provide a software solution for a client. Based on these experiences, uh, I'll be sharing you how you can become a software engineer in Nepal and also compete in a global market also. Talking about the global market and big tech giants, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, these companies are doing a layoff in huge number as there is a recession in the global market right now. But if I have to talk about Nepal's market, then uh, it is completely opposite. There is huge number of demand for the skilled professional in the computer science. Most of the companies here in Nepal do the outsourcing work, uh, taking the project from developed countries and uh, doing it here. As labor cost of Nepal is uh, uh, comparatively low, even if uh, salary of the software engineer is higher compared to other fields in Nepal, it is cheaper for them to work with us and build their projects. Yeah, there are some companies who are doing layoffs in Nepal also, but if you are skillful enough, then you can get even better offers from better companies and only the sky is the limit for you. So now let's talk about what you have to do to become a software engineer. First of all, it is better if you have at least a bachelor degree in some computer science related field. But if you ask me if degree is really needed, uh, to become a software engineer in Nepal, then my answer will be straight no. In this field, the most important thing is the skill and the attitude towards uh, the work. So even if you have a degree, it doesn't even guarantee a job for you. I have a lot of uh, my co-workers uh, who doesn't even have a degree but are doing pretty good at their jobs. And in other hand, there are many of my friends who have a degree of computer science but uh, doesn't have relevant jobs. So it all depends upon the skill and capability of yours. And talking about the market, it is little complicated right now as more and more engineers are coming to the market and there is a sort of competition to get hired. And you have to showcase your projects uh, and impress the interviewer and the companies. Most beginners are confused on which field to take on the software engineering as there are different fields on the software engineering also. Most common, in, most common in Nepal are UI UX designers, front-end developer, back-end developer, full-stack developer, AI and machine learning engineers, uh, security engineers, cloud engineers, and there is also uh, QA testers. But this depends upon company to company and these are some common ones. And if you are a beginner and is confused just like others, then I suggest you to start doing intensive as a full stack developer and explore all the fields and take the one you are interested on. Because in full stack developer, you are exposed to different fields like front end, back end, DevOps and other fields. Then you need to start building great projects of your own or a company's project and uh, building your portfolio so that you can show your projects and the knowledge you have learned and get the job you desire. And if I have to talk about the positions and uh, how much time it will take you to become a software engineer, then uh, most companies have a position of interns, uh, junior level or associate labels, and then a software engineer. And it goes to mid-level mid software engineer and senior software engineers. But you can also choose to become project manager and just take a salary for hosting a daily stand-up meeting and doing office politics. 
Jokes aside, normally for average person, it will take a year or two to become a software engineer from the junior or associate level. And if I have to talk about the salary range of associate level, then it ranges around 25 to 35,000 a month. And then the average salary for a software engineer ranges around 60 to 1 lakh rupees. So within uh, two years, you'll be you'll be earning these amounts, which is, uh, if talking about the Nepali market, then it is huge. But if you are skilled and talented enough, then you can get there faster. Like For example, one of my closest friend and co-founder of our company, uh, Quantum C, uh, Savin, he was so good that he got the position of software engineering just after completing his internship in around two or three months. He's such an inspirational guy and if you guys like to follow him, I will link his GitHub profile on the description below. My whole point was that if you are skillful enough and talented enough, then there is no limit for you. But for the average person also, you need to work hard and build some projects so which you can showcase as a portfolio and then build a great CV and a LinkedIn profile, connect with the people and you will start to get offers or you need to get uh, you need to reach out to company yourself and then take the opportunities you got and you will definitely get a junior level role and then you can start over from there and if you are an experienced developer and have worked in the market for 2 3 years then and if you want to explore the global market also there are different portals which uh, expose you to the global market they will assist you to find the clients and uh, you have to work just like a salary employee. And these companies also be a more than a local market. Uh, if I have to give example of these companies, then there are there is a company called Toptal Turing. This company hires employees from all around the world and expose them to the Silicon Valley projects. Uh, where you can learn a lot and after getting a job i think i don't have to say this uh, because you are a software engineer you need to keep upgrading yourself with latest tools and technology for that you can consider subscribing to my channel i am trying to upload a new video every week of this kinds of stuff so which can help you to become a great engineer so finally thank you for watching this video I hope you like this video and find it helpful. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to comment below or directly email or message me on Instagram. I will uh, put the links on the description below. And good luck for your journey of becoming a great software engineer. And I hope someday I'll see you in the market and we will work together to build the great softwares together.